Matthew chapter 6 verse 16 we are looking at prayer and fasting why do we pray we look at the why prayer we look at why fasting say we pray because the scriptures has given us a prescription a solution a way out whenever there is an issue that needs a divine intervention prayer is engaging the divine as a solution to the natural. Jesus said, whenever you are fasting, that scripture, whenever it means, fasting ought to be a common lifestyle of a believer. He doesn't say, if you fast. He doesn't say, suppose you fast. He doesn't say, in case you fast. He says whenever and that scripture that word means it's expected to be the norm it's expected to be the culture it's supposed to be part of what makes you a Christian walk whenever it means that is part of the package that completes your faith whenever because it's expected because your faith you are walk the culture of the house of God has fasting as an ingredient so whenever you are practicing this like in life whenever you sleep that is to say you are expected to sleep it's part of life whenever you eat that is part of the package of life when you take a shower it's part of the package of life if you despise one it has the power to distort the rest so fasting is a culture of our faith it's not a rule, it's not a law, it's not a demand, it is who we are. It's like giving. Giving has nothing to do with what we give. It is who we are. We give because we have the nature of God. Giving is a platform ex of expressing your love either to God or somebody. Giving is acknowledging the source of your blessing. Giving is acting on a principle of acknowledging there is a sovereign power above you every time you don't give you are saying i am the final authority i'm the source of my success and therefore there is no reference point there is nobody as i acknowledge as the source of my success our practice is a culture so whenever you are fasting so when are you supposed to fast it is our culture it doesn't have to be an event it doesn't have to be with a i mean condition it is who we are. Whenever you are fasting, do not look gloomy. Because looking gloomy means it's an event. You are trying to win some favor. Don't do it like some guys who try to do that. They are called hypocrites. They want to show they are doing because they want to impress God. He says for you, if you fast, they are fasting by virtue of how they look creates their reward so he's saying when you fast do not be like them why because by how they look they are trying to win attention and favor from people and he says something very paramount i don't want you to forget it he says how people appreciate their event is their reward by people looking at how sorrowful how how stressed they are how might they are beating themselves the response from those you focus on becomes your reward but now listen to say, it says, 
they have their reward in full. Let's read that scripture backwards. That scripture is saying, therefore, fasting as a reward. But you determine where your reward comes from. That's exactly what he's saying. He's saying fasting has a reward. But the hypocrites decide to get their reward from men. But fasting as a principle has a reward. So you determine, do you want your reward from God or from people? But fasting has a reward. Look at verse 17. Look at verse 17. Fasting has a reward. But when you fast, perfume your head and wash your face. Why? So that your fasting may not be noticed by men. Make sure your rewarder is not men. Because fasting has a reward. Say that with me. Fasting has a reward. Louder than your neighbor. Fasting has a reward. How you focus your fasting determines where your reward comes from. If you do it as an event to please people, their appreciation on how you look is your reward. But that does not eliminate the fact that fasting has a reward. So he says, where do you focus your reward? Put oil on your face. And then he says, so that your fasting may not be noticed by men. Avoid men. Because the only thing they can reward you is to appreciate how you look gloomy. And you know, you can fast under human influence. Pride. Do you know you can fast until people begin to wonder, wow, you have lost weight. And you're like, yes, I'm in fasting. <laughs> now, that is not a show. You are not trying to break any record. Brother, you've lost a lot of weight. Yes, I've been waiting on the Lord. There was a day, I think I mentioned a story here. Nilienda prayer mountain, kuenda kuomba. I wanted to go and fast for a day. And then I met this brother who had really fasted. Akaniambia alienda sijui nakuru for 40 days. Alipokuja, akishuka tu hapa. Mungu akamwambia enda uh, Luguyani. Akaenda 40 days. Wakati alimalisa, akikuja tu mungu akamshukisha pale mailina. Akamwambia enda prayer mountain hapa. Na alikuwa mekonga siku saba. Nikamwambia waja ni kuwajia mungu. If you've been fasting for 40 days plus 40 plus 7. You know what the man was feeling? He was feeling like I've been fasting. Now listen. If you fast out of show, the people who appreciate how you look becomes your reward. But it says you can choose to get your reward from your father who sees in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Fasting has a reward. You are not punishing yourself. You are creating a forum of fellowship with your father without external interference. I want you to say three times, fasting has a reward. Fasting has a reward. Increase the volume a bit. Fasting has a reward. Louder than your neighbor. Fasting has a reward. Yes, fasting has a reward. So we fast because we know there is a reward in fasting. Why do we pray? This scripture says, when we fast, we are creating personal time with our Father. Why do we pray? Jesus introduced us to prayer. The first curriculum of prayer is when you pray. Again, look, look, at, look at the Bible in the book of Matthew. He says again, when you pray. He doesn't say, if you pray. When you pray. It is again not a rule. It's not a condition. It's not a coercion. Fasting has a reward. When you fast. When you pray. Say that with me. When you fast. When you pray. Say it again. When you fast. So what is fasting and prayer? It's a kingdom culture. It's our spiritual maturity. It is like when you get married and you know a good wife wakes up, prepares the children, make breakfast, make sure the house is clean. It's a culture. 
So when you pray, how do you live your Christian life? By this culture. When you fast, when you pray. He says, when you pray, this is how you should pray. Our Father who had in heaven. Why do we pray? Three things why we pray. Number one, I say, why do we fast? We fast because fasting has a reward. Tell your neighbor for me, fasting has? You can either get a reward from people or get a reward from God. How do you get a reward from people? By looking gloomy and looking like you need help, looking like you are punishing yourself. Somebody wrote me an SMS yesterday, and I'm sure he's watching me. I want to answer your question, whether that brother, there is a brother who wrote me an SMS, I mean something from Nairobi, and say, do we still need to fast now that we are under grace? Now listen, fasting is not a law. Fasting is our culture. That's why I say when you fast, listen, People always argue against what they don't want to do. When you hear somebody say, should we give? They suffer from the spirit of poverty. What is wrong with giving? When you hear somebody say, must we get married? They are fighting the spirit of divorce. When you hear somebody say, must we, must we fast? They are fighting the spirit of... Look at what you fight. It's what you don't want to do. Why should we get money? Do we, do we have people say, why should we get money? No. Because everybody wants money. Now listen. My brother. Why should we fast? Fasting has a reward. Let me say it again. Without a lot of questions. Why do we fast? Because fasting has a reward. What is the reward? When you fast... You are setting your time away from you and give it to your father. You are telling God, beside my needs and my time and my pleasure, I consecrate some time for you and you alone. So all my appetites, all my avenues, I shut them. I consecrate these three days for you. So what is fasting? Fasting is beyond request. Fasting is love making. I'm going ahead of myself. Fasting is love making. Let me tell you something. We conceive in private. But we have to set that time. Let me tell you my story. My ministry, my success, and my achievement today in ministry is a product of my private moments with God. Ladies and gentlemen, people don't conceive on the street. They don't. They must be a time set away from your friends, away from your children, away from your mama away from your job where you go away with your lover and confirm the gate is locked and the door is locked so that the two of you have time together. Fasting is a sacred moment between you and your father. That's where people conceive dreams. That's where people conceive ministry. That's where people conceive ideas. If you think your life is becoming blank, try the bedroom. Hello? Every person has a spiritual womb, but rarely do we have time to conceive. He says, when you pray, get to the closet. God is saying, don't talk to me in public, because that's what hypocrites do. He says, don't talk to me in public. Come to the private. Come, let's talk. Prayer is a sacred moment where the creator and the creature are meeting together to transact divine agendas. It's where the natural and the divine meet together so that there is a transaction. Can I tell you something, ladies and gentlemen? If you learn the culture of prayer, prayer is talking to God. Fasting is time with God. Write it down. Prayer is fellowship with God. Fasting is time with God. So what is prayer? Prayer is a fellowship with God. What is fasting? Time 
consecrated with or for alone with God where you tell your appetites hold on you tell your desires hold on and can I recommend to you ladies and gentlemen if you choose time with God the grace you catch in fasting will give you a speed that your normal efforts would not stop trying to run every day set a moment a day a week an hour and say you know what i've been running this life mwaka unaisha sitaenda mahali nitachukua siku mbili tatu sitakufa hakuna kitu itaribika kwa sababu saa zingine na laso hospitali mwezi mzima na hakuna kitu inatukia na hata kama silali hospitali muda gani nimesunguka taoni mwezi mmoja hakuna kitu sipati i will set some time and concentrate one of the principles of fasting ni tabia ya kuku kuku ndio anajua fasting kuku anajua fasting na hana pasta kuku anasaa mayai Alafu siku ngapi? 21. Anaenda ku fast and pray. Jesus, play me the keyboard. Kuku anaenda ku fast and pray. No monitor, no promise, no instructor. And I want to recommend to some of us, we need to learn from the chicken. Kuna watu hawezi kukaa mahali pamoja watulie. Na ukimlasimisha akae kama kwa lift. Kichwa iko karisa, iko kapenguria. Kuku ina fast for 21 days. Anatokelese hapo na watoto. Kuku hako so discipline kiasi kwamba hata akilalia mayai enya haikupata chogo. Bado italalia makosa ikuwe ya mayai, isikuwe ya kuku. Na inajua nani alifundisha kuku unalalia mayai siku 21 nani aliambia kuku unaanza lini nani anafundisha kuku kuchinyima akitoka nje wakati wa fasting anakimbia pap sio anaenda washroom alafu anarudi haraka kabla mayai haijakuwa baridi ushaona kuku mwenye analalia ukiona ametoka ni ya kuchinyosha akimbia toilet alafu anarudi very fast. Kwa nini? Anataka kurudi kabla mayai haijakuwa baridi. Kwa hiyo sababu ukiwaacha ikuwe baridi utakuwa umefunja process. Na siku 21 atalalia mayai. Hata kama mayai haikuwa na jogo. Kuku atasema nilitimiza sehemu yangu. Siku 21. Na kama hakuna kitu baada ya siku 21, chini yangu iko safi makosa ni ya mayai. Na saa zingine ako na mayai kumi, watano wanatokelezea, watano wanaishia. Hanglalamiki, hakasiriki, anafurahi na wale wamepatikana. Na ikiipita hiyo wakati, anasaa tena. Alafu anarudi tena. Listen friends, the things of the spirit are brewed in prayer and fasting as a process of translating them into the tangible natural world. Sema amen nataka mungu elewe ndugu. Vitu vya kiroho ni kama mayai. Inatakana iwe kuku. Lakini namna ya kuhamisha kutoka yai ikuwe kifaranga inahitaji muda wa kulalia. Ndio anasema mtaongea na baba yenu kisiri private lakini baada ya hiyo wakati by the way nataka wasome kuku analalianga mayai siku ngapi how many now do you realize theologians have proven that there is no stronghold that can withstand a 21 days fasting now those are theological things ukiwa na weakness ukiwa na shida ukiwa na hiki kitu imekuwa chronic ambayo imekataa kutoka 21 days cannot be survived do you realize it's been proven that if you practice something 21 times it becomes a habit kuku anajua 
May you be enrolled into the school of chicken. You know what our problem is? We don't value process. Listen, girls. I don't care how passionate you want a baby. You can't be pregnant after one month when the maternity, when the reserve man ended up with what? Unless you want to talk to a member. Nimiesi tisa. Na ikikuja mapema, matektari wa mekupangia kwamba, watakutafutia katumbo kadogo. Pale. Na ito incubation. Ukiangu, yes, uki ma, umalisa process. Ukianguka mutiani ya mutu, unapitishwa ile ya kuku. Incubator. Najwa incubator ni ya kuku. Wasome munisaidie. Kifaranga inasafanyika kwa siku kumina nane. Kumina tisa? Shirini? Ningabi? Daniel fasted for how many days? What is the principle? The principle was no matter the stubbornness of your situation. 21 is a breaking point. But now listen. Our challenge is we fast for 21 days. We don't fast to break the culture. So we count time instead of investing in privacy. We want to break records. 21. Now, let me tell you. Fasting is when your totality is involved in the process. Now, when you say unafunga siku tatu, na hiyo siku tatu una, kwa mawaso yako, unapanga vile utakula kukumusima, vile uta revenge, unasabu masaa, nitakula ikitu, wataniona. You know, mbaka una, unawekea wany, chakula wanded, mutaniona, nitakula. Mbaka ukipita malifla ambia mungoje tu, imepaki siku mwaje, I'm coming. That's not fasting. That is now looking for human approval. Why do we pray? Three things. Number one, we pray because we have a God who answers prayer. Hallelujah. We pray because we have a God who answers prayer. Tuko na mungu anayechibu maombi. Na sio tu mungu ni mungu wetu. Na sio tu mungu wetu ni baba yangu. Kwa nini ni naomba ni na mungu anayechibu maombi. Kwa nini naomba? Kwa sababu mungu anayechibu maombi ni mungu wangu. Na sio tu mungu wangu ni baba yangu. So I pray because I have a God who answers prayer, who happens to be my God and my Father. I pray because God answers prayer. Number two, I pray because God is my Father. Now, look at me. Let me tell you something painful. And please post it on your Facebook. Prayerlessness is a declaration of orphanage. Kutoomba ni kutangasa uyatima kama hicho ni Kiswahili. Kwa nini? Maombi ni tangaso kwamba ni na baba. Yesu akasemaje muombe hivi baba yetu. Come on, talk to me. Yesu alisema muombe aje baba. Kwa hivyo kutoomba ni kusema sina baba. Simba. When you pray, this is how you should pray. Our Father who are in heaven. How many of you believe God is your Father? Now listen. Every time the devil tells you don't pray, he's telling you you are an orphan. Prodigal son, alikuwa orphaned for some time. Alifika mahali, akaomba. Akasema, nina teseka. I am under affliction. Penye Yakopo alituambia jana. Is any of you under affliction? Is any of you in bondage? Let them pray. Uyu jamaa, akajiomba, akaomba, akasema, Kwa nini ni nateseka na kukufa na kumia na kukula na ngurue na niko na baba? Why do I pray? Because I have a father. Prayerlessness is orphanage. Prayerlessness is orphanage. Kwa hivyo kisikia muta nasema, nimeomba baka nimefika mwisho. Unasema nimeamua kwa yatima. Biblia nasema, nandaka kuwajibu wa kristo. Tunaomba mudagani, Biblia nasema, omba pila kukoma. Waja kutuwekea mukomo. Hakuna mali, Biblia nasema, koma. Omba, omba pila kukoma. Kwa hivyo usiniambia, nimeomba pila kuchoka. Kwa sababu hakuna mandiko, inasema, omba baka uchoke. Inasema, omba pila kukoma. Unajibu maombi. 
Unachibu maoni. Wakati wote ukiomba, this is what you are telling your challenges. I have a father. We've learned the word father here so many times. The word father means source. Ukisema ni na baba unasema niko na source. So every time ukiwa na challenge, when the enemy brings a challenge, don't acknowledge orphanage. Don't entertain that there is no solution. Tell the devil I have a source to this problem. When you pray, you are telling your challenges, I have a source to this need. I have a source of solution to this problem. So question, when do you pray? Is any of you afflicted? Is any of you challenged? Is any of you in danger? Engage the source, the solution. Can I tell you how you can beat the enemy? You beat the enemy by one. Remember, prayer is a place of conception. Fasting has a reward. You pray because the God who answers prayer happens to be your God. And the relationship is beyond God. He is your father. And remember, the word father means source. So is there any problem? I know the source of solution. Angalia Yesu. Sema baba yetu alia binguni. Jina lako litukuswe. Ufalme wako uje. Now, I, I, I wish I would have time to explain all that. Anaongea ufalme wako. Now, that means we live in a kingdom. We are citizens of a kingdom. Kenya mambo ikienda vibaya. Who do we complain to? The government. But the magic ikuja, who do we complain to? Joblessness ikikuja, who do we complain to? Mutu akifunja nyumba yako, where do you complain to? Come on, talk to me. Ukifutu akas, where do you complain to? Mutu akipa, where do you complain to? Now, we have a government. Let your government come. I have a government behind me. I have a kingdom behind me. And I am a citizen of that kingdom. And that kingdom's agenda is its citizens. And I am a citizen. And I'm not only a citizen. I am not only a citizen. I am not only a citizen. Unajua, kuna tafauti kati ya mwana Kenya na mwana Kenya mtoto wa rais. Ish. Nia mwile vitu mnasema. Kuna tofauti kati ya mwana Kenya na mtoto wa wu. Ni mwana Kenya lakini ni mtoto. Aibu ji introduce kwa jirani yako mwambie by the way. Sikuwa nimekuambia vizuri mimi ni nani. Mwambie mimi ni mwana Kenya. Na mimi ndio mtoto wa Mudos. Na no jamaa anaogopa kukuongelesha because anakuogopa. Now listen friends. <laughs> When you are praying, you are not begging. You are demanding your rights. I am a child of the king. I'm a child of the king. I'm a child of the king. I am a child. Any children of the king here? Listen to the language of the sons, the children of the king, who understand their rights. Jesus looked at bread and looked at fish and looked at 5,000 men from my village without counting women. The Bible says, wale watu walilishwa na mikatetano na samaki wawili, walikuwa saidi ya watu elfu shirina tano. Lakini kwa sababu ya namne ya kuesabu, unaesabu wale watu wanakula saidi. So wanaume elfu tano wakaisabiwa kwa sababu wanaume full time job yao ni chakula wanaume ukiambia unaenda atinaenda kutafutia chakula ndio unakuta mwanaume anaamuka saa moja amepima kilo mbili kabla hajapata pesa ya kulipa because kama mwanaume achakula na wanawake mjue hivyo mwanamke ni mwanaume ni kukula usitafute moyo wa mwanaume tafuta mtumbo sababu hiyo ni shortcut anyway so wanaume wangapi elfu Munajua watu naume elfu tano. Wenye wamekaa changwani kwa muda wajakula. Wanaume, wanaume wacha vijana. Wanaume, unajua bado wanachunga mwili. Wanaume, Biblia say me boys, na say men like me. You are trying to build capacity. Sikia Yesu. He knows he has a father. He has a kingdom and God rewards answers prayer. 
he looked up and he said my source my father Akasama, my father I thank you by the time I narudi mikata na samaki enda kwa hiyo ka kioski yako enda kwa hiyo mpesa yako ambayo ya transact kitu leo enda kwa hiyo biashara ya yendi enda chukua hiyo mikate tano na hiyo samaki wawili hiyo vitu vidogo ya yendi inua juu na useme wiki hii i commit my business to my source that's right i have a father i have a father who never ever fell Stop right there. Listen, we have a father. Why do I pray? Because God is my father. God is my source. God is my father. God is my source. God is my father. God is my source. So, if I don't pray, I am saying I am an orphan. Niko na nani? That's why sikia watu wa Mungu. Lazaro anakufa. Baada ya Yesu kufanya gymnastics ya watu wa kiroho na kemero ya kuua jamii ya Lazaro na kemea generational iniquity na kemea misisi ya ugonjwa na kemea laana ah ah akasema hii ni gymnastic pure akaangalia juu na akasema baba the source of life the resurrection i thank you akaambia Lazaro kuja 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 listen connect your challenge to your source can i tell you something if you have to stop doing anything don't stop praying because prayer means you are always in contact with the source of solution ata pesa yend ata nini yaribike maintain communication with your Only by grace can we stand